so as you can see i'm trying to access google.com but it doesn't work even though i'm connected to the internet as you can see down here but if i switch to the chrome browser if i refresh you'll see that i'm able to access chrome and then do any kind of search i want to yeah and it works so you want to head over to this website so you can get the software that you can use to block out uh, internet connections and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom now this only works with the windows operating system so i don't know if there's any alternate software that you can use on your mac or linux devices but when you get here just click on this and it should download it's free and it's open source which means um, anyone can take a look at the code if they understand how to code all right so after it's done downloading you want to come up here click on this and click on downloads and then you're going to see it here or you should click on show in folder so you can see what you've downloaded so i already have the software installed but i'm going to uninstall it so i can show you guys how to install it step by step so i'm done with the uninstallation now i'm going to reinstall it to my computer and you guys can follow along if you don't know how to install programs so just double click on the file and then click on run and now this part of my screen is always black i don't know why but you should have uh, two options either yes or no so you want to click on yes then you want to click on next click i accept terms and then click next then click next finally click install and wait for it to get done installed it doesn't take long maybe 10 seconds at most okay so it's done and now it is um, showing you this interface so you want to click on next and then click on finish you can uncheck this because the program is already running so you click on finish and now you can see the program so right here you can see that this is checked and it is titled simplewall.exe it is giving itself internet access so it can control what can have access and what will not be allowed to have access but you get to choose which um, app or software you want to give internet access to but anyways that is why i'm just letting you guys know that this is why it is um, checked so if you try to uncheck it it will show you this warning and you should always leave it checked all right before we start blocking apps from having internet access you need to head over to settings you just need to get this thing done on the first time and after that you won't be doing it anymore so you want to make sure that um, you click on load on system startup this way whenever you restart your computer it's going to make sure it activates itself so things do not quickly get access to your internet and after that you can click on start minimized this way you're only going to see the icon down here yeah you're not going to always see this interface I think i'm just going to minimize this and then next we click on file settings so that we can get to see other settings that we should just like i said this is just going to be for the first time so you know always have to go through this whenever you use the software now i'm going to make sure this is unchecked these two should be checked and you can leave this one checked if you want it to check for updates from time to time and then over here it says notifications you just need to click on this to deactivate all the notifications that the app will be showing you because with time it's going to keep letting you know that this program is asking for internet um, requests. This other program is asking for internet requests. So depending on how many programs you have, it may be overwhelming for you guys. So it's better to just turn off all notifications and then you get to choose what you want to use. Finally, you click on close and now you can start blocking. So to block, you want to click on this plus and then you click on apps. Now you may see all the apps that you have on your device, but um, for me, I don't find Chrome here so now i'm just going to connect to my internet and immediately i do that you're going to see that some files are going to start asking for internet requests had it been i didn't have this disabled you'll see all the requests i think i should just enable it so you guys get to see now you see one has already come up i just enabled it and it wasn't over up to a second see another one is here i don't know why the app is low is lagging but uh anyways as you can see chrome is now here and this is because chrome is asking the app for internet permission and you can check this to give it that internet access and then you click on yes and you, you'll see it up here so any app you check it's going to come up here the ones that are asking that are standing in line that they want an internet access yeah they will just be here so you get to choose if you want them or not so for now i'm just going to uncheck chrome again so you guys can see that it cannot access the internet so i think i'll just go back here and then refresh the page and as you can see it says your internet access is blocked so that means the simple wall software is doing its job and now if i click on this again and allow it then if i head over to chrome and refresh yeah it works so even though you try to 
you know, give an app permission to use your internet and you don't find it here, what you need to do is just launch the app. And when you do, it's going to come up here and then you can give it access. So just, you know, try to use common sense, read what the app says. If you are not sure if that's the app you need, then you can right click on it. Let's say this one and then click on open containing folder. When you click on it, you're going to see the main folder of the app. So you know if it's your, uh, I don't know which apps you use, but if you have, let's say like Brave Browser in this example, then you just go back to make sure that you are working with the right software. So if you have any other Brave Browser you see here, it may just be a clone or something else. But yeah, this is Brave Browser. And uh, if you launch it from here, it's going to open up Brave Browser. So you can give it permission from there. So. The link to the website is going to be in the description so you don't have to memorize it or whatnot. Alright, so I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you want more tutorials like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay awesome, and bye-bye.